Hello. Welcome back to Silver Thread Sewing. I'm Diane. This is Friday Sews. So, I welcome you back if you've joined my channel before, and if not, welcome. Uh, first thing I want to do is thank Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room for starting the hashtag Friday Sews. It's a way that we can search for sewers and people who we uh, want to watch, who we have the same interests, and by putting that hashtag in the search bar, you can also filter your results if you want to see the newest episodes of Friday Sews. Um, it's just a great way to find people to watch that enjoy sewing and uh, like to talk about sewing and like to show you their sewing stuff. <laughs> so we all have a lot in common on this hashtag, but thanks to Jen for starting this great community that we all enjoy. Um, I have had um, quite a little bit of things that I've I've been working on, I would say piddling, <laughs> because I really haven't gotten as much done as I thought I could. Um, it's just been a different kind of week, and you know, I'm kind of trying to get back into the swing of things. And I have two or three things I wanted to share with you. Uh, so, first of all, I will tell you what I'm wearing. I am wearing a little sleeveless dress. It's New Look 6540, and I made version B which is just a little sleeveless dress here. I've got it in a bag, a little um, gallon size bag, because I have the pieces out. But it is new look, 6540, it's just a simple little dress, and mine is made out of quilter's cotton. Um, it would probably, probably hang a little better um, if it were in something a little more lightweight, because this is pretty structured, but um, I usually wear it with a sweater over it. I did the uh, pattern as it was suggested and did uh, armhole facings and a neck facing, but after it's been washed a few times, it kind of, sometimes the facings want to turn to the outside. I did understitch um, and I did take a little seam in the shoulder seam to try to keep them in place, but they still want to kind of flip out sometimes. So I wish I had tried to take the time to, um, to create a all-in-one facing so that everything would have been together. And I, I think I would like that better. And I might try to do that eventually. I can take all this out and probably make one in a solid white or something because I don't have any more of this fabric. Um, I have been making, uh, working on making my pajamas and it is pattern McCall 6525. If you remember from a little while back, I showed you that and I'm making the long pants of UC and I shortened view A, which is the night shirt, into a pajama top so that I can have that rounded uh, hem on the bottom of it. And that's all worked out just fine. And I will show you the pants first. I'll put a picture of me wearing them. I haven't uh, tried them on where I could take a picture. My husband's been out working and he's my photographer. Um, so this is the pajama bottoms, and I've added my standard little pocket here with a little elastic at the top that's to hold my insulin pump, but these are just so cute, and I'm going to show you that they do have the border print at the bottom, and I just think they're so cute. Maybe I can show you better that way. And then the top, when I, I, I don't have it finished, and I'll explain why. Um, I made some changes and I'm not sure I made the right changes. So this is the top. It doesn't have the buttons or buttonholes yet. And it has the rounded hem at the bottom and I love that. Hits me right where I wanted it to, but I'm not happy with the sleeves. I just get so discouraged with sleeves. Every time, you know, things will fit well and you'll like the way they look. And then when I put the sleeves in, it's always something. And I, I know it's me. I know I'm kind of intimidated by sleeves, I guess. And I have watched every video. I've watched uh, Peggy Sagers from Silhouette Patterns um, on Fit to Stitch. Uh, she has a bunch of videos on there and she is so talented. But she had showed the relationship between the sleeve and the armhole and how to make sure that your armhole, you can use the same, you can trace off your preferred armhole one for a woven, one for a knit, one for a jacket, and I think that was it, maybe. Maybe a sleeveless armhole. I think that's maybe the same as one of the others. 
Anyway, she said you could, you know, you can trace off those armholes onto any pattern you use and know it's going to fit you. And I've tried that and I've had some varying success. Now this armhole was meant to be, you know, bigger because it's pajamas. And if you can tell, they kind of hang, the sleeves kind of hang off the shoulder. So mine did, but mine hung over by probably two inches, two and a half inches. So anyway, I put the sleeve in and I didn't like the length. It was too long and I don't like to sleep in long sleeves. So I just cut off the length and made it shorter, which was fine. But I must have, I don't know, I, I, the sleeve gathered up some and it doesn't show being gathered in the pattern. So I need to take that back out. But, but I almost want to just leave it sleeveless because it looked so cute until I put that little sleeve in. Sleeve just kind of sticks straight out and it's crumply looking and I don't like that. Everything else I love and I've got a little bit of fabric. It would be the border print part. And I thought I might go in and try to make like a flutter sleeve or something just a little bit different so I could finish these up because I love them otherwise. Just the sleeves I'm not thrilled with. But I'll show you a picture of how they look hopefully. Hopefully I already have. So I seldom go shopping, clothes shopping. Um, if I do, it's mostly just to look and see what they have. But my daughter had asked me to go shopping with her this week. Um, she and her husband are celebrating their 10th wedding anniversary on the 20th. And she wanted a dress because they were having some special photographs made. And um, so she, I didn't really, I wasn't really comfortable with that, you know, wanting it to be a specific way and fit a certain way and the time frame was too short. I didn't, and I just was, I felt too stressed. So she didn't ask me to do it. She said, I wish you could, but I totally understand, but will you go with me to find one? So I said, sure. So we went shopping and um, I spent most of the time looking at them thinking, look at that price. There's not even two yards of fabric in that dress and it's a hundred dollars or $69 or, you know, I could make that way cheaper. So that's what I spent most of my time doing. So then I ran into the clearance rack and I found a dress and it is, um, the brand of it is Sonoma. And that means nothing to me. I don't know anything about name brands, but it was a, a nice dress shop. Uh, so it was sleeveless and it has the ties and it has the little ruffle at the collar. And it's just a sleeveless A-line dress and has a ruffle at the bottom. So it's cute. When I first saw it, I thought it was a uh, linen, but uh, the tag says it's rayon. So anyway, they only had a few sizes left as it was on clearance. It had been $40 and it was on clearance sale for $9. And um, I thought, you know, that's not bad for $9. And the only sizes they had were extra small, small and one, one, extra large size. So I knew I couldn't do anything with the extra small and uh, the extra large was, it's too low under the arms and just too big. And uh, I would probably have been able to, to wear a medium if they had had it, but they didn't have it. So I thought, well, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that because I love the fabric and I love the colors and it shouldn't be real hard to just modify the side under the arm a little bit. So I came home and got my seam ripper out and my husband says, you're already taking that dress apart. You just bought it. And I said, well, I bought it to take it apart. And he just shakes his head. He doesn't get it. But um, I wound up taking apart the binding from a, just a little ways under the arm and exposing the side seam. And I ripped all of it out and put it on inside out and pinned. And I didn't take any pictures of all that. I didn't think. But um, I took out about, I took out from right there, this is my seam. I took it out this much and it wasn't quite enough and I went back a little deeper. And probably an inch, inch and a half, about an inch and a half probably. And um, went ahead and seamed that up and tried it on and it fits good. It, it brought up the armhole a little bit and made it a little bit less voluminous through the bust. So it also had side seam pockets, but the side seam pockets came right down here to the ruffle. They were right in this area right here. And I guess maybe where it's an extra large, 
uh, it was, and I'm not that tall, I guess, but they came way down low on me, so I didn't really like the pockets. So I just ripped all that out, and when I took the pockets out, this is what I was left with. So this part had been in the side seam. Of course, they had been together like this. And I thought, you know, I think I could take that and hem it and just make some sort of a little, maybe a like a little flutter sleeve or a little, almost like a cat sleeve, only I want a little bit of fullness in it so it won't be tight. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hem this rounded edge, the rounded part at the bottom, and I'm gonna serge this seam, a seam right here to keep this from raveling. And I'm gonna to try to make some sort of a little ruffle to go part way around this sleeve. It won't probably won't fit all the way around. And after it's gathered, I know it won't, but it'll, it'll be close, it'll be close. But um, I'll let you know how I get along with that, but it'll be done once I get the uh, binding put back around the armhole and do something about that little sleeve. And then I'll have just a plain little little comfortable dress to wear around. You could wear it anywhere, really. It comes down right down my knees, so it's not real short. But um, with that, I was working on that. And I wanted to show you, I thought today I would show you my skirt patterns. I showed you my all my pajama patterns last time. And I thought today I would show you all my skirt patterns. And then I've got one other little thing I, I wanted to show you, and then I'll let you go on with your day. Um, the first skirt pattern that I have, and all these, so many of these are so similar. It's like I said before, you know, they're different. Different, but they're not really in, if you look at the line drawings, they all look very familiar, or a lot of them, I've got a couple that are different. Anyway, first one is Butterick 4461, and it's just a cute little A-line skirt, and it's simple, it's for woven fabrics, cottons, chalets, lightweight linens, and I'm gonna show you the line drawings on the back. Hopefully I'm showing you the right place. I can put pictures in if I'm not. But I had seen this made, someone had made, I think the, the version that the model's wearing, I don't know, a few years back, and um, I just fell in love with that, that, that silhouette of this skirt. And I think I had to find it on eBay. I couldn't find it anywhere else. And um, it's from 2005, if I didn't say that. And it's Butterick 4461. The next one is from 2015. And this is a new look, 6400. And it's a little bit different, too. It has several different um, views on this pattern. And it's for wovens as well. And it can take some lace overlay. And this, I think, can be made with a little bit heavier fabrics too. Denim, piquet, wool, cotton, cotton blends, things like that. And that's the line drawings. The next one is from 2006, and it's Simplicity. It's so easy, and it's Simplicity 4240. And this is little circle skirts. And they have ruffles at the bottom. And this is the back of the envelope. And it's again for wovens. And this pattern is from 2009. And it is Simplicity Simple Solutions. And it's 2609. And this one's a little bit different. This one has some tiers, tiered skirts. And it is for Lightweight fabrics like laundered cottons, crepe back satin, chalet, eyelet. But it would be very on trend now with the tears. And again, that's Simplicity 2609. The next one is from 2015, and it's a Simplicity Easy to Sew, and the number on it is 1200. And I looked inside to see if that might have been like a a rack or a counter pattern, but it's got the same number inside. So it's uh, Simplicity 1200, and it's just circle skirts, and again, for woven fabrics. And it has a ruffle at the bottom, and that's the line drawings. 
Next one is McCall's 7197. Again, circle skirts. These don't have a ruffle at the bottom, but they do have some waistline variations. One has a tie. Some have elastic. And I'll just try to show you that so you can see. I think I might be shaking. Sorry about that. If, if that's too shaky, I will put pictures in. Um, this one is Simplicity 4188. And again, it is circle skirts, basically. Um, I think one of them may have gores. And there's some long ones and some shorter ones. I'm not sure. And again, it's four wovens. Silk, satin, crepe. And I couldn't find a date, I don't think, on that one. But it looks like probably 2000s, the way the pattern looks. Um, and then the line drawings. So like I said, I have a lot that are very similar to each other. This one is a little different. Um, this is for, for again wovens and it is New Look 6605. And I think these all have elastic waist and it's from 2019. So this one's not terribly old. Just a cute little skirt. And then the next one is New Look 6461. And um, I don't think they even give very much detail about what the differences are, but this one has elastic and it calls for cotton blends, lightweight denim, piquet, poplin, twill, silk, double Georgette. So it takes a zipper and a hook and eye and it's New Look 6461 from 2005. And then the line drawings on the back. Then this one is very similar. Again, this one is a panel skirt. And it is six skirts made easy. Simplicity $51.99. And it is also for wovens. And I have made it a long time ago, but I don't remember... I don't remember what fabric or don't have any pictures or anything. All right. And I've got two more. Um, Simplicity 8743. I couldn't find a date on this one. And I know that I had had to order this one because I couldn't find it. Um, I couldn't find it anywhere else. So I ordered it off eBay. And it's Simplicity 8743. Very similar to the others. And here's the line drawings. And one more. Butterick 6179. And this is a little bit different from some of them. It has culottes as well as skirts. Um, they have a waistband, side front, and side back seams. They take a zipper. And they have some bias detail on the one version, which would be that one. And then the culottes. And this is a picture at the back. And that is all my skirt patterns. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for looking at my skirt patterns and listening to me ramble on about my, my stuff that I'm working on. But I hope everybody has a great weekend. And remember, don't ever give up sewing because we'll never be failures as long as we keep trying.